Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00 and today's edition of the Most Detailed Archive, a more focused series looking into aspects and components of Halo lore that come up often across the highways and byways of my videos, particularly the Most Detailed Breakdown series. Today, we're taking a more detailed look at the Covenant's Pinch Fusion Reactors that are actually commonplace across the Covenant and Banished fleets. These reactors use some very interesting techniques to generate energy that have been amended since the last time it was covered on my channel back in the CCS class Battlecruiser breakdown. So let's get a little nerdy and look at the pinch fusion reactor in a new light. Covenant Pinch Fusion Reactors use a technique which replicates the conditions inside the core of a star, using deuterium and tritium as the fuel source, which are isotopes of hydrogen with a nucleus that contains a proton-neutron pair and a proton-neutron-neutron -neutron trio, respectively, where a normal commonplace hydrogen atom known as proteum has no neutron at all. The Pinch Fusion Reactor generates energy by the use of artificial gravity generators. There are generally around a dozen gravity generators positioned around the circumference of the reactor both above and below the virtual core of the reactor, all aimed inwards to a central point, creating a focused area of overlapping gravitic fields of immense strength. The reactors generally resemble two ring-like carapaces, one positioned above the other, with a void between the two where the reaction itself takes place. The reactor's carapaces also contain an array of different technologies, including a jutting gravity generators around their circumference, which are, generally speaking, very obvious, all aiming inwards. Several concentric annular magnetic field emitters positioned in a circular arrangement within the carapace, which generate both high-speed shear flow magnetic containment fields and a magnetically induced current. The carapaces also house outer containment fields provided by extremely powerful energy shield emitters. The entire assembly is generally made of Covenant nanolaminate to aid in shielding the devices contained within the reactor from the intense heat and radiation. The gravity generators and magnetic containment field emitters create highly focused and powerful gravity and electromagnetic fields which, as a causative effect, give a close approximation to the forces at work within the core of a main sequence star. Stars are majoritively made up of hydrogen gas that has been heated into a plasma by the sustained nuclear fusion reaction taking place at their core, where immense pressures and temperatures facilitate the nuclear reaction. The pressures of our atmosphere here on Earth is approximately one bar or one standard atmosphere, about 14.5 pounds per square inch. At the core of a main sequence star, the pressure is about 265 billion bar, and the temperatures reach about 15 million Kelvin, or basically 15 million degrees Celsius or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. In this environment, hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, otherwise known as the proton-proton chain reaction. The net result is the fusion of four protons into one alpha particle with the release of two positrons and two neutrinos, which changes two of the protons into neutrons and energy. With pinch fusion reactors, the use of gravity generators that generate intense fields of gravity focus and lens the steady stream of deuterium and tritium into a focused core. Here, the matter encounters intense pressures on the order of hundreds of billions of bar, and temperatures in the realms of 15 million Kelvin, and initiate fusion, changing the matter's phase from a gas into a plasma. To increase plasma density and thus also increase efficiency of reaction and confinement of the reaction, the plasma is compressed and thereby heated further by pinched magnetic fields in a technique known as Zeta Pinch, or Z-Pinch for short. The Z-Pinch is an application of the Lorentz force in which a current-carrying conductor in a magnetic field experiences a force. 
One example of the Lorentz force is that if two parallel wires, for example, are carrying current in the same direction, the wires will actually be pulled towards each other. In a Z-pinch reactor the wires are replaced by a plasma which can be thought of as a many current carrying wires. When a current is run through the plasma, the particles in the plasma are pulled towards each other by the Lorentz force. Thus the plasma contracts, proportionally increasing the pressures and thus continuing the reaction in ideal conditions. As the plasma is electrically conductive, a magnetic field nearby will induce a current in it. This provides a way to run the current into the plasma without actually physically contacting the plasma, which is important as plasma can rapidly erode mechanical electrodes. This double action of powerful gravity generators and a Z-pinch of the plasma medium increase the overall efficiency of the fusion reaction, ensuring the stream of deuterium and tritium being fed into the reaction chamber immediately add to the overall core density, fusing them together into a helium-4 nucleus and a free neutron almost instantly, generating huge amounts of energy. Some of the magnetic field generators make a high-speed annular flowing sheath that surround a plasma filament and separate the plasma into an inner and outer core, while the others induce a current within the cores, causing them to be drawn together and contract, increasing the pressures and temperatures involved in the reaction. The energy that is released is then used as the primary source of energetic excitation to energise the plasma medium that all Covenant technology appears to use as the basis of their energy source. The plasma within the reaction area is kept compressed by high strength magnetic fields ensuring the reaction can be sustained continuously. If the energy shields or containment fields being generated by the carapaces or the carapaces themselves are damaged or destroyed, the immense pressures, heat and energy in the reaction are suddenly and explosively released from their high pressure environment, causing a near instant evacuation of the plasma medium, resulting in a cataclysmic explosion that detonate with the power of a small supernova. For a brick, he flew pretty good. Thanks for watching, stick your comments down below and I look forward to what you have to say. And quick shout outs and thank yous to my patrons, Spartan10148, my devastatingly effective Metarch class and Scylla, Silver Spartan, Leon, Ram, Prophet Bear and Irrefutable Justice, my ever vigilant monitors, the careful tending of Alvin, Andrew, Brian, Cameron, Darian, Devon, Phantom, Flaming Halo, Cabal, Legions Lost, Michael, Spartan0137, The Cave Potato, and Wolf Eclipse, my sub-monitors, my growing fleet of Strato Sentinels, and my most loyal of enforcers, and all my awesome Sentinels, Sentries, and Constructors who have jumped aboard on Patreon to help support the channel. You have my debt of gratitude. And, as ever, Todd Morrison, my Tier Zero Transcentient YouTube member. Thanks for keeping my installation running on that glorious vacuum energy. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, as it all helps the channel grow and helps me to continue to deliver this kind of content for you guys. And if you're ready for your next steps in evolution, head over to Patreon and become a patron there or become a YouTube member to attain a higher state of being. Much love to all of you, take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>